You know, I think the main thing was just really came back and battled. I liked us defensively. I didn't like us defensively, obviously, last night. Really battled and shored that up and contested and really worked hard. And I think the difference in the game really was our press. If we hadn't turned them over, I don't think we'd have won. I think the difference was the press. Beginning in the first half, I thought we were real sloppy, uh, especially me. Had a lot of turnovers, uh, unforced turnovers at that. And so going into the second half, we knew he had to take the ball. And uh, as long as we take care of the ball, I think we have enough weapons on our team to be able to score almost every time down. So taking the care of the ball is definitely a big part in the second half, which would help us uh, create better offense for our team. Some of the things we did well, you know, first half started a little slow, but second half we came out, uh, we started to play ball more. We just were more comfortable and look at being, looking to be more aggressive, and I think that's what helped in the second half. It's probably the best we've executed it uh, in the second half all year, properly, as we, we talked about how we're, we, we don't feel like we've been a great execution team at this point. Yeah, we're playing, uh, we're playing pretty well right now. Uh, obviously, Saturday we had a letdown, but uh, we're not proud of that. But um, yeah, we're getting better every day. Um, that's big for us to, uh, to get better, and we got a big game on Wednesday, and that's all we're focused on. Five and one's five and one. I mean, you, you, you're going better six and zero. Oh. But um, so we're happy at this moment. But you know, we'll wake up tomorrow and won't be real happy because we know we, we got to play on Wednesday. So we've got got work to do tomorrow. Being five and one, we just try to take a, a game by game. Try to get better every day. And so uh, that's something that we really look for. We don't really try to look too far into the future. Uh, we try to stick it to the next game, which the next game is uh, UC Davis. So something that we're going to be preparing for this week. It was it was really good to see him bounce back and play well. Though you know we did have a few too many turnovers. That was a little sloppy, but we got it going. And it, it, the main thing is we bounced back and and we played with the resolve and the toughness and the commitment to scout report that we did earlier when we were four and zero. In the second half, uh, you know, we weren't forcing things. I think in the first half we were trying to force it a little bit. Uh, maybe, you know, off Saturday's loss, you know, we were trying to, you know, come out with a little fight, I guess. But uh, we were forcing a little bit in the, in the first half. In the second half, we just played more calm, but we were aggressive at the same time. So I think that was big. I thought compared to yesterday, uh, we didn't come out with enough energy, uh, enough intensity on defense. So that's one of the things I think we really picked up on in the second game was picking it up on defense, coming out strong, setting the tone in the very first four minutes is something our coach always preaches. The crowd was big, the crowd was big again. Uh, they're always big for us. Uh, second half especially, you know, they come out. Uh, Mr. Demps, Cody's dad, actually gives the chant, uh, here we go Hornets, gets the crowd gets the crowd hype, and you know, that's big for us every night. It's always different playing a, a local team. You know, maybe know some of the guys, probably grew up with some of them, uh, which most of us might have. Uh, but we'll take a win as long as uh, anyone will have, or anyone will take. We'll take it, whether it's uh, Montana or UOP, right, right here close to home.